for joining Earth Day Yoga with me today. I will be doing some poses, yoga poses with you, also giving you facts about the earth, about each yoga pose. Stay tuned later. Um, Hillary from Earth Bloom Recycling is going to join us and give us some information. All right, let's get started. Our first pose is going to be the tree pose. So you need to take it doesn't matter what leg, we're going to do it on both legs. I'm going to start with my right leg and put it on your calf. After you put it on your calf, you're going to bring your hands to heart center. Once you find your balance, you're going to grow your tree branches. If you fall, that's okay. Just get right back up. Your foot should catch you. Let's count to five. One, two, three, four, Five. Hands back to heart center. All right, now for the other side. While you get up set, while you get set up for your other foot, I'm going to give you some facts about trees and our earth. So trees are like the lungs of our earth because they produce oxygen. Oxygen is necessary for life on earth. Grow your branches. One, two, three, four, five. All right, our next pose is going to be wave pose, like you're riding a wave on the ocean. Um, feet shoulder width apart and then some. I'm going to start going this way. I'm going to straighten my front leg and bend my back leg. I'm going to put my arms out and pretend like I'm riding the wave on the water. Water is important for our earth because all living things depend on it. Three, two, one. Now we're going the other way. Straighten your front leg, bend your back leg. Arms out, ride that wave. Our bodies are three-fourths water. Three, two, one, back to heart center. All right, this next pose is called table pose, but I renamed it for Earth Day called pick up garbage pose. You're going to get down on the floor, or if you have a mat, on your hands and your knees. I'm going to go sideways so you can see the whole thing. Your hands are on the ground, your knees are on the ground. You're going to raise your right arm and your opposite leg, your left leg, and then put them down. Raise your left arm and your opposite leg. All right, now we're going to add the pick up garbage part. We're gonna pretend to pick up garbage, throw it away. Pick up garbage, throw it away. Miss Leone. Hi friends. I am Hillary. I am the owner of Earth Bloom Recycling uh, and we are going to be incorporating uh, beekeeping into our business as well. What we're doing for Earth Day is uh, getting out into our community and cleaning up our roadsides. Um, one of the reasons it's super important to clean up litter in our in our communities is because um, it breaks down into our natural environment and it, it turns into what we call microplastics, um, which is often mistaken for as food by our wildlife. Um, that can be really hard on their bellies over time, you know, a lot of our wildlife already has plastic in their bellies, so that's something we can um, work to eradicate. So get out there and clean up your communities and we'll see you later. Happy Earth Day. All right, and for our last pose, it is called the Gorilla pose you are going to take your two peace fingers and you're going to grab your big toe this is going to be a nice stretch when you grab your big toe you're going to pull not super hard but hard enough to feel that stretch we're going to count to ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, zero. 
All right, if you wanna do that stretch again because it feels so good, go ahead. The gorilla helps our earth. Here's how. A gorilla spreads fruit seeds among the forest. Bees, just like what Hillary told us, they pollinate. Majority of our food, actually one third of our food, depends on pollination. Elephants create watering holes, watering spots for other species. Squirrels, squirrels like nuts. If they, for, if they place nuts on the ground and they forget about them, those nuts take roots and grow into trees. So awesome yoga today. See you guys next time and happy Earth Day.